Hey there, guys. Back with some more Pokemon Platinum. Uh, yeah, so I don't plan to do, you know, all the story stuff that's here in the mine. Uh, I mainly just want to do like one or two battles. Uh, get us up to uh, two grand and get some more Pokeballs. So let's see, where are the trainers at here? Guess we'll see whatever this is. <laughs> Paris. <laughs> Well, if nothing else, that'll be an easy capture, so. Uh, trace? Oh, it has Trace. Ooh. Let's try Bubble. Mmm. Ah, perfect, perfect. I actually remember talking about this. Um, uh, this was like uh, maybe like four episodes ago. But yeah, in a randomizer, Trace is actually... It's kind of good because, um, you know, you don't really know the abilities. You don't know the abilities or types of, you know, the Pokemon, excuse me, that you're trying to catch. But at least with Trace, you know, like let's say you find like, I don't know, let's say you find a Gengar and its ability is like True on, which sucks. I mean, that's Slay King's ability, which makes it a uh, slack off every turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nintendo was getting a little close uh, calling it that, but, uh, um, but what was I trying to say? But my point is, like, with Trace, you can see, like, in the wild, like, oh, okay, this Gengar has Truon, while this other Gengar has, like, Bad Dreams, or, you know, whatever other random ability it might have, so, this is actually very good. I think we should be able to catch this. Uh, yeah, Paris are normally pretty easy to catch, so let's just go to... I don't even think we need to put it to sleep. Let's just go to Wife, right? And uh, paralyze it. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get this because that's actually a pretty good ability. And a <gasps> Ooh, I forgot about Rough Skin. Uh, uh, ball it or no, Josh? Let's just ball it. Okay. Pokeball go! Yeah, this thing normally has a pretty easy catch rate, I think. So hopefully we'll get it here. Uh huh. Yes! Alright, you guys ready for the Dex voice? Here we go. Paris's data was added to the P Pokedex. Paris, that mushroom Pokemon. Mushrooms named Tokchokasu grow on its back. They also grow along with the host Paris. It's a dragon type? Holy crap. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah. We'll name you. Uh, and I'm actually going to name this Paris. Um, it's actually a nickname after um, a character in uh, Criminal Minds. Uh, I think she was also in Without a Trace, but uh, yeah, uh, JJ. So, there we go. Yeah. And I forgot the name of the actual actress, but uh, well, we got a tracer, so that is good. Uh, ooh, item. Let's check out the item first. Well, let's get into a battle first instead. <laughs> far-fetched. Uh, it is kind of weird seeing this thing in the wild, though, I must admit. Uh, my skirt. Yeah. Nice. Ah, uh, don't be throwing sand on me, far-fetched. Far-fetched, the far-fetched. It's so funny, uh, this thing finally got an evolution. Uh, it took them, like, 20 years, but, uh, there you go. Metch, wait, what? Huh. Normally I think of the move metronome, but uh, apparently this is an item. I snip, let, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I snip my Pokemon in the work. Alright, let's do it. Okay, Director Pie. Oh, we found the director from Heart Gold Soul, so that's a good Pokemon. Koki. Alright, we'll try Vice Grip. Glad you're wasting your time with that. Oh man, if we can get a Milotic in this game. Milotic's probably one of my favorite Pokemon, but it's just... Uh, it is, you know, somewhat annoying to try to evolve in this game and in, like, uh, Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald. But if we can find one just in the wild, just as a Milotic, ooh. I might use it regardless. Like, even if it has a bad type, like Rock Ground, I might use it. Which, I don't think it's Rock-type, because, uh, Vice Grip's doing normal damage here, so... 
uh, sorry, Metal Crab Mon. But you get a level there, buddy, so. Alright. Well, aren't you something? 720. Okay, that ought to do it. That's all I wanted was just a little more money. Okay, okay. Time for work. I'll work up a thirst with my Pokemon. Okay. So. Let's just get out of here. Whoa. That's a big boy. Didn't we see this early in the game? You like to buy? Yeah, that's a pretty solid Pokemon. Oh, right, right. And white smoked. Man, that ability is gonna get a lot of use. Uh, assuming we keep uh, Metal Crab on the entire playthrough. Nice, nice job. I wouldn't mind catching that. That's a that's a solid Pokemon. And nothing else just to see what type it is, but let's try to get out of here. Okay. Ooh, did we make it? Nice, nice. We got lucky there, because I was running at some points, too. Oh, nice. Okay. That's that's exactly what I wanted. We're out of there. Okay. So now let's head to... Before I do anything else here, let's head to the Pokemon Center and heal. And then we'll head to the Mart and buy uh, 10 Pokeballs. So, yeah, heal my Metal Crab Mine, please. Oh, yeah, what time are we at, by the way? Okay, 11.42. Uh, I'll start the video at, like... Let's see maybe like 1208 yeah that that way we shouldn't it shouldn't cut off this time so here we go okay so let's head to the mart here i want to buy the pokeballs before i forget and i guess in this episode we'll just kind of you know we'll just check out the town for now uh oh, we can actually get 12. now let's save the money let's try to get 10 at a time get the free premier balls uh, do I have any antidotes? That's a good question. Five? Oh, no paralyzed heals? Mm. I'll take one. I'll take one. You never know. You never know. Okay. But yeah, let's, uh, let's check out the town. Now that we've done all that, uh, let's just start from the first house up. Maybe there are some items in these houses. I, I don't really remember. It's been a while since I played Platinum. Rook lets us train our Pokemon in the mine. Oh, that's all you gotta say? Okay, that's cool. A team leader isn't just like just any training me. Obviously, they're a lot tougher. I lie. i take as many Pokemon as possible if I were you. Yeah. And uh, it's, I have been carrying a full team for quite a while. You know. There are eight gym leaders in the Sinnoh region. The objective for trainers is to get gym badges from them all. That means you have to defeat all of them in battles at their gyms. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Who's up here? Are you catching Pokemon? Here, take this if you like. Oh, free Dusk Ball. Cool, thanks. The Dusk Pokemon is a Pokeball designed for use in darkness. It works better if you use it at night or in a cave. Okay. Uh, oh, there's a Psyduck here. Psyduck. Uh, what do you have to say? But he named our Psyduck yellow just because of, of its color. I don't understand the logic behind that at all. Um, what do you have to say? Giving nicknames to Pokemon's the way to go. I agree, I like giving nicknames. It makes it feel as if they're very good. Alright, yeah. Do, do, do. Okay, so that does it for this first house. Hey, we got a free dust ball here though, so there you go. Uh, next house. Are all these two-story? When you trade a Pokemon, the item it's holding is traded as well. That's pretty cool, huh? It means you can send an item as a gift. Yeah, that's always nice to get. Listen, listen, you have a Pokemon called Machop? Would you be willing to trade your Machop for mine not to? Uh, no. That's a bad trade. Ah, okay. Well, I can't make you trade me. But if you change your mind, I'll be right here waiting. I might do that trade later, just to see what item it has, but... If a Pokemon, a Pokemon is obtaining a trade grows quickly, but if a Pokemon grows too much, it may ignore the trainer. Oh, that's true. Oh, she said something about it'll obey you if it gets if you get gym badges. Yeah, that's true. Oops, oops. Sorry. Let's head on. Up. Uh, okay. What do you have to say? All Pokemon have a special power called an ability. Uh, yeah, that is true. 
In effect, we just got a way to find out what abilities Pokemon have. My favorite Pokemon ability is Patrick's pickup. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. My darling picks up a lot of dropped items with me out me noticing. Yeah, I was talking about that last episode. How good pickup is in a uh, Ruby Sapphire Emerald. The view is good from the second floor, but it's a pain going outside. Oh man, this guy doesn't touch grass. But if you if you don't mind, how about showing me a Pokemon called Geo Dude? Oh well, I don't have none. I don't know what he'll give us, but uh. Uh, okay, good to know this house, uh, that guy might ask for, like, a different Pokemon every day. Might give you an item or something. I don't really remember. Ah, uh, what's up? Oh, quit dodging me. We see in the vents. They really steam from down below. Oh, is that so? Uh... Okay. Uh, let's read the gym sign. Orbird City Pokemon Gym. Leader Rourke. Call me Rourke the Rock. Oh, is he, like, Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Trying to be cool? I didn't talk to the people in the Pokemon Mart. Let's talk to you. The Pokemon Mart is staffed by a lady and a young fellow. They offer different kinds of merchandise, did you know? Yeah, so for example, this one offers regular Pokeballs, the one on the right. This one offers Tunnel Mail. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Heal Ball and Net Ball. Like, the Net Ball work easier on water Pokemon and bugs. But uh, the Heal Ball will, catch a poke will heal a Pokemon immediately, which, I mean, you can just go to the Pokemon Center. I don't see the point of that. Badge that the Pokemon GMs give you a measure of a trainer's worth. By getting more badges, you get to buy more items and Pokemon. That is true in this game, and that's really started from this game onward. They kind of changed to that, so kind of interesting. I think it works better that way, honestly. The gym leader woke off, went off to work in the mine. Oh, okay. I guess we'll talk to the douchebag rival here. Huh? Oh, it's you, Megami. You finally got here? You're slow like always. But anyway, the gym leader's tough, like seriously serious. If the gym leader's this tough, I wonder how he compares to my dad. Oh, so is your dad a gym leader? Hint, hint, hint. Huh, I just drifted there. Anyway, gym leader's got off to the coal mine. If you want to take on the gym leader, you better go off to the mine, mega me. Okay. Uh, oops, we already read that. In here we go. Let's see, let's check out the TV. Ceno News Net. Hello, this is Ceno News Net. Ceno News Net has crews gathering news all over Ceno. Yeah, Union Rim. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know how Pokemon have different natures, like we have personalities. I don't think it's surprising to see Pokemon in different colors. Oh, she's basically telling you about shinies. Have you ever seen or heard of? about differently colored Pokemon. For instance, a regular Pik Pikachu has a yellow body, correct? Well, a different colored Pikachu so has sort of an orange body. Ah. So is your Pikachu a shiny? Pika. <laughs> okay. Pika, Pika, Pikachu. What is this guy doing by the vents? These vents exchange the hot air down below with fresh air outside. Looking down at them gives me the urge to start yelling into them. Hello! Oh! Oh, I'm, I, I mean, I'm guessing these things would echo, you know. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Is there like a hidden item down here? No. Okay. Or oh, maybe there is. We'll come back once we get the dowsing machine. Check everywhere. Feels like there should be a hidden item here, too. Uh, no. Hmm. Okay. Or maybe here? No. Okay. We'll talk to you. TMs are single use only, but HMs can be used over and over. It's tricky trying to decide which Pokemon should learn what moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until Gen 5, when they invented the best thing ever. Making TMs reusable. That was great. Uh, where are we already talked to you. What about you? When I run around with my running shoes on, I'm the center of attention. Yeah, at least that's what it feels like. There's always someone looking at me. <laughs> okay. Rock is a user of rock type Pokemon. Don't you think rock type Pokemon are nice? I like how lumpy they are. <laughs> okay. Rock's our town's team leader partner. He may be young, but he keeps the mine running safely and efficiently. <laughs> uh, it's so funny checking out the TVs in this game. Sometimes you just get random and wacky stuff. Well, hey, there's a huge mountain that towers above everything. Device. Sino in two distinct halves. 
Uh, by the way, up north of the Pokemon Center here, this, out of everything in Orberg, you might want to remember this. This is the mining museum, coal mining in use. So, actually, if you come up here to the front desk, talk to this guy. Hello, hello, how are you? I study Pokemon fossils with me, right here and now. On the verge of a breakthrough, I am to achieve extraction from fossils. Fossils, I can extract Pokemon, but not yet, not yet. So yeah, later in the game, this guy is the guy who will uh, turn your fossils that you find, like in the underground or wherever else, into Pokemon. So there you go. Hello, welcome to the Oilberg Mining Museum. Uh, it's a little far from here, but there's a city called Eternal City. I heard a curious, yeah, yeah, underground man. With a name like that, he must be an authority on the underground. Yeah, we'll talk to that guy later. In fact, I think they make you talk to him. Wait, hear about it. Your bird body extends after the seafloor. Hmm, interesting. Well, the Pokemon I carry this must be terribly strong. It is pretty big. But, so this is cold? Never expected to see something this big in that color. It's really as black as they say. Oh man, this guy's like Trunks from DB Super. Watch out, Goku! He's not black. <laughs> uh, mining must take a strong mind and not just a tough body. Think about it. You're in darkness, desperate, digging desperately the rock. Hmm. Interesting. You must have fortitude of mind. Is that what you're saying? A history of war, bird mind. You could call it a history of effort and friendship between Pokemon and people. Is that so? Uh, there's also some stuff you can check out here, like if you, yeah, if you check out, like, some of the display cases, you'll get some, uh, interesting information, I'm sure, here. Badly scarred wooden tools are on display. Yeah, yeah. So, yep. Simple from different regions. Uh, I think it, you'll also learn about the history of the mine. What's that? Different kind of lamps. Oh, someone's head. Yes, yes. I think these will teach you about the history of the mine. Yeah, or, oh no, how coal is made. In a time long before history, vegetative matter was swept along by rain and rivers. It came to be buried under the ground. Uh huh. Buried plant matter was forced even deeper under the ground due to tremors and fissures caused by the shifting land masses. Whoa. Deep under the ground, plant magic was subjected to heavy pressure and the heat of magma. It gradually turned to coal. Well, there you go. A little bit of a learning lesson for you about cool, in case you want to know. All right, let's talk to this girl. Natural time capsules buried many, many years ago. That's what fossils are, indeed. And uh, yeah, yeah, if we got a fossil for K Kabuto, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind that one bit. Pretty cool Pokemon, pretty cool Pokemon. Hiya, your Pokemon can use some toughening up. Why not try training in the Warbird Mine? Hint, hint. Always have rotten time trying to decide which moves my Pokemon should learn. Indeed. You remind me so much of the time I got my first Pokemon. Oh, I guess, like, everyone can somehow tell, like, you know, we're a new trainer for some reason. Even though I should look no different than any other trainer, but... Wow, your Pokemon's eyes are twinkling bright. Seeing that makes me happy. Here, I want you to have this. Oh, sweet. Great ball. That's great. Thanks, man. You know how Pokemon stay inside their Pokeballs? I try to think about what would be the best Pokeballs for them. Yeah. Well, free Great Ball. There we go. That was worth it. The other Pokemon is operated with the utmost care. We avoid causing any damage to the natural habitats of Pokemon. Okay. What about you? Code is carried out of the Oilbug Mine on a fully automated system. Machines do all the work automatically, so it's all very easy. Ah, okay. Good to know. Alright, well, let's head out. I, th I think there's a little more to check out as far as the town down south. But yeah, this is basically the Orenburg City Tour episode. Uh, now that I think of it, I think there's an item up here. Well, let's uh, see if there is after I finish checking out the town. Because we've almost talked to everybody. Uh, I'm pretty sure we already talked to this guy, right? Yeah, 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 He's talking about, uh, Mount Sinnoh. Yep, a couple more houses to check out here. Everyone's proud of the mine. For digging for co under the sea as we speak. It's amazing how they do it. Indeed. Hello. Chop, chop, my chop, 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 away on rocks. Mm, that doesn't really rhyme, but, uh, catchy. 
Gotcha. Alright. Okay, let's talk to you. I can have two more of our coal cool mine. Wonderful, that's excellent of you. It's always good to learn about new things that broaden your horizons. Uh, yeah. Still commercial time. Man, they play some long commercials. They played that about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, oh, and apparently there's like, huh, I wonder what those people over there say. Because there's no way to get to these guys. Is there? Oh! Oh, there is. Okay. What's up? There's no question, this is hard. Hard work. But working alongside Pokemon gives me a boost somehow. Here, take one of these. Oh, glad I made it over here. Free Super Potion. There you go. Feeling hale and hearty puts a smile on my face, and that makes me happy. Ah, indeed. Okay, so you apparently you can get over here. In the sky, ice sky will give you a free Super Potion. There you go. And I think we already talked to that guy, yeah. So that's it for the tour of Orberg City. Uh, hmm. Should I just call it an episode there? Uh, no, honestly, I want to check out what kind of uh, Pokemon are all around here. Um, I think we'll head up north, and basically, like, uh, I'm going to start the, you know, the look around part right now, now that we finally have some more Pokeballs. Uh, before I do, though, let's see if Paris is holding any item. No. Okay, but I think I will take uh, Paris with me, because, uh, yeah, because I want to perhaps see the special abilities of whatever we encounter, so, uh, we'll just swap out, a uh, side beat for now. Oh yeah, I meant to check out its, uh, I remember this thing has, like, huge power, right? Oh yeah, that's so funny. Uh, so I do want to check out this thing's, like, overall stats, and see, maybe I want to use that, maybe not, but, uh, uh, anyway, let's, uh, head on out. Yeah, and we'll start just kind of messing around a little bit, seeing what Pokemon are available. Uh, yeah, we'll, we're gonna start basically a catching safari, starting about now. And, uh, yeah, I think there's a hidden item up here, too, so... 207. What do you have to say? The slope's too slippery. You'll need a bike to get up. You don't have a bicycle. There's a cycle shop in the town, see? Indeed, there is. Okay. So, we actually made it pretty far. Let's go ahead and, uh... Let's go ahead and save here real quick. And while this saves a lot of data, I did quite a lot of talking there, so I'm gonna get a drink. And then we'll start catch a little bit of catching here in this episode. In the next episode, yeah, probably a, lo a little more catching of Pokemon, so yeah, so don't worry about missing the gym battle or anything, we're just gonna see what all's out here, so all right, let's check it out. Mm, pretty good Pokemon, pretty good Pokemon. Gorky. Um, <laughs> you know what, just for fun, let's check out what ability Flareon has. Uh, let's use Vice Grip. And I'll switch to Paris and check it out. Eh, not very effective, huh? Okay. Hmm, still not too effective. Okay. Alright. Paris, you're in, buddy. Let's trace his ability. Let's see. Wait, wait, what? Hey, trace didn't work there. Uh... I thought you had Trace, yeah. Oh, do I have to be like the first Pokemon up? That's interesting. I didn't think that's how Trace worked, but uh, maybe it is. Um, well, in that case, let's just try to catch it, maybe. It is resistant to normal attacks, so. Ooh. Yeah, maybe if I can get it to the red, then. Uh, We'll try to put it to sleep. Uh, that's still pretty low yellow. Yeah, one more, JJ. Nice. Okay. Alright, we'll switch to Slugma. Try to catch it. Flava Flav. Alright. Man, this thing's pretty powerful. But uh, yeah, Flareon does have pretty good, you know, kind of normal attack, so. Alright, we'll use Yon again, waste a turn. Alright. 
And uh, do I want to save state and cheese it? Nah, nah. We'll just try like. We'll try like two or three Pokeballs, and if it doesn't work, yeah, it's okay. Two, three. Nice, we got it. First try. Nice. Thank you, Flava Flav. Let's see Flareon's Pokedex entry. Flareon, the flame Pokemon, inhaled air is heated in the flame sack on its body to an intense fire of over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, steel type. Hmm, very cool. All right, we'll, we'll name it. Uh, <laughs> and this actually name actually kind of works with the, uh, because you know how all the evolutions are named Eon. So since it is steel type, we're gonna name him Skillion. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, and yeah, ooh, an early game steel type, just like Crabmon. Uh, let's go back and check out Flareon, because I might want to swap it for. Uh, we don't have any fire type as a permanent team member, so I might honestly want to swap swap it with Glybat. Let's check it out. Check out it. What's really going to matter is its ability here. So let's see. Let's see. So Flareon, no items. Okay. What ability you got, buddy? Serious nature. Multi type. What in the world? Changes type to. Isn't this uh, Arceus's ability? Huh. I'm pretty sure if the Pokemon isn't Arceus, that, uh, I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, if it's not Arceus, that ability won't even work, so, huh, it's kind of funny. Yeah, I was talking about how, like, uh, the whole type thing with, uh, Trace, you know, can help you. Yeah, I think we'll search, I mean, because still type is good, but I think we'll maybe search for a Flareon that has a different ability, and, uh, if we can get one... Maybe I'll add that one to my team instead. Okay. All right, but in the meantime, let's just... Uh... Oh yeah, what time are we at? 12.03? Okay. We can maybe look for one or two other Pokemon, and then we'll end the episode. Because yeah, I said like 12.08, that's when I want to go to, right? I think there's an item up here too, so... Oh! Medicine. Nice. Alright, so I guess we'll see what ability this thing has. Traces Insomnia. Oh, so we can't put it to sleep. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, let's just switch to Crabmon. And I'm not too worried about catching this thing, because we already have the pre-evolution uh, Paris, so... You know. Yeah, I'll probably just KO it. You know. Unless we get it to, like, 1 HP, and then I'll, I guess, Thunder Wave it or whatever. Oh, okay. Okay, that, that's low enough, honestly. That's low enough. So, let's swap to Zapdos here. Yeah. Medium. Aww. You had to poison me, huh? That's slightly annoying. Sorry, wife, right? Uh... <laughs> Why Fry still got PTSD when when he got poisoned by that early game uh, Rosa Raid or whatever? That wouldn't be too bad of a Pokemon to go back and catch either. Okay, Pokeball go! All right, Parasect a one, a two, a three. Nice. Or well, making the most of our money here. Very good. Very good. All right, Parasect. What do you say? Parasite, that mushroom Pokemon. A mushroom grows larger than the host body. Controls Parasite. It scatters poisonous spores. Indeed it does. Alright, uh, eh, no nickname. Yeah. Because we already called the pre-evolution. If I'm going to use it, I'll use the pre-evolution. So. Oh, there's the item. Power lands, what in the world? I forget what that does in this game. Uh, let's check it out while we're here. Oh, and let's check out the metronome. A Pokemon and hold item that boosts the move if used consecutively. Huh. Um, well, I don't have really too many other good items. So I guess let's give this to something for now. 
Uh, right, you're holding the uh, item boost money. Let's just give it to JJ for no reason. Power lens. Oh, right, these kind of items. Yeah, I doubt I'll use items like these in the Macho Brace, but uh, that promotes special attack but reduces speed. Hmm. Uh, maybe if we find like the right kind of Pokemon, I'll use that, but yeah, probably not. Uh, let's go ahead and heal Zapdos with one of our antidotes. There you go, wife Ray. Okay, we're at 12.06. Oh, is there a hidden item right here? Maybe. Yes. Oh, a metal plate. Hmm. Text engraved on the back of the plate. Power of defeated giants infuses this plate. Uh, metal boosts grass, right? Let's check. Yeah. I don't have any grass moves right now, but okay. Let's keep looking. Let's see what we find here. Each been my while. Let's see what ability you have. JJ. Super luck, what? Oh my god, that's funny. Alright. This thing might be worth catching, honestly, with ability that good. <laughs> that's normally, uh, in case you didn't know, it's normally a Haunch Crow's ability. I think it's like a hidden ability, though. Yeah. Alright, we'll try Bubble. Maybe it'll stay alive? But if we kill it, it's not a problem. Oh, okay. It's, oh! Well. Alright. Its HP is pretty low. <laughs> White smoke used again. I guess we'll put this thing to sleep and, uh, give it a whirl. Yeah, super luck. And, uh, Mawao, you can normally find it pretty early in, uh, uh, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, so I would figure it probably has a low catch rate. Um, but it's not, like, a high priority. Like, honestly, if Mawao's stats aren't that good, I don't see myself using this on my team or anything, but, you know, just to see what, like, ability it has and stuff. 